In this last video, we are going to see another type of special type of trees, which is called splay trees. So the motivation behind this is like, let's say if you are trying to search for random inputs, then our AVL trees or B trees or even our uh, BSTs we discussed have like O n or O log n complexity for random inputs, which is like, let's say if I try to search 65, we'll get this complexity or uh, if you try to search 91, we'll get like O n in case of uh, BSTs and O of log n. But what if there is a specific use case where the inputs are not random, which is, let's say if you are trying to search a value repeatedly, which is, uh, let's say if we try to find out this value, which is 91 in this case, again and again in this BST, or even if it was in AVL tree, like let's say if this was further down this AVL tree somewhere. We don't know where it was, but it was much deeper. So you still have to traverse and achieve like log n complexity. So the question to ask is, can we do better than this? And that is that's the solution to this particular problem is solved using the splay tree, which is if we are trying to search this value 91 again and again, why don't we bring it closer? So one way to fix it is like to rotate this tree using just the AVL tree terminology, which is like we use these tools of rotation. So like let, let's uh, rotate this left. So 91 will uh, be a bit further up, then further rotate it and gets like really complex. So split trees are basically trees that have like special algorithms, which have like special tools, which is to other different types of rotations that instead of like when we were working with uh, AVL trees, those rotations typically worked on two values, which was parent and child. Now we are going to cover like these special cases, which works on three values, which is grandparent, parent and child. So a splay tree is a self balancing BST. Again, it's a BST with additional property that recently accessed elements are quick to access again, which is whatever we access that goes and becomes the first element somehow magically. So to achieve this, there are three different types of rotations. You are not supposed to learn these rotations in for the sake of exam. We are just going to ask you what are the different properties and uh, like what will happen, let's say if rotations were occurring and where is this like tree used? So here, here, like if we try to search a in this particular tree, like let's say if this was a longer tree and we are trying to find A, which was somewhere there in the tree, you perform a zigzag rotation, which is the first type of rotation. You make A as now the grandparent, B remains the same and C becomes the child of uh, B. Now this property of BSTs is still satisfied because you can see that C was greater than both A and B and C is still greater, which is semantically everything looks the same. It's just a different type of operation. So zigzag has two different uh, ways, which is like if the tree looks like this or the tree looks like this, both ways you can perform a zigzag operation. Uh, the parent, uh, the child and the grandparent are swapped and the central, the parent node, which is B in this case, remains the same. The second operation is zigzag operation. So if you have a pattern like this, and if you are trying to search the value Y, now Y should become the root node. So you can fix that by making Y as the new root and X as its left subchild and Y as its, uh, and Z as its right subchild. The third type of rotation is zig rotation. So in zig rotation, what happens is you just have two nodes, which is Y is a child of X. Now, when you search Y, you make Y the new root and X the left sub child of Y. So again, just to sum up, the basic idea is that after, e after the node is accessed, it is pushed to the root via a series of rotations. So, and it does not manage uh, to shorten the tree. Like we don't want to, uh, we don't want to 
make sure the height is longer now we want to shorten the tree's height after this operation so let's see another example here we are accessing eight so after a zigzag rotation you make eight now the new root next another zigzag is performed on this parent which is this operation is bottom up which is again you start from the bottom just like an avl tree rotation and you move further up the tree until you make this eight as the parent node which is this operations play and which we are going to define very soon this is repeated on the item you are trying to search till the item that you are trying to search has no parent which is n dot parent becomes null so whenever we are trying to insert or search a particular value the insertion or search is exactly similar as bst followed by a splay operation on the newly inserted node or the search node which is let's say if you inserted a new number in this tree like let's call it nine that becomes the new node after the insert so this play operation is basically determining which rotation to apply out of zigzag zigzag and zig and you keep playing the nth element which is the element that you are trying to search or the element that you are trying to insert till it becomes uh, the root node which is it does not have a parent the performance of splay trees is typically like we are not again not going to go into depth for this but uh, it guarantees that if there are m tree operations it will take o of m log n times where n is the number of nodes and on average the tree operation is going to take like o of log n uh, operations but let's say if we were to design a system like cache where we, we are trying to access recently recently inserted elements or recently searched elements closer then this data structure more, makes more sense because it has a specific use case so it's implemented in cache as well as in garbage collection there are some more resources you can try out the b plus trees visualizations play visualization and there's the original paper on splay trees and b, b plus trees that's also available in under the resources i would like encourage you to just check out these visualizations by professor gales uh, he has a website that allows you to insert and delete uh, for the sake of exams we are going to ask you insertions list of b plus trees not on splay or red black trees at this point i would like to conclude the video but uh, i would also like to state that uh, i didn't have too much time to create another video for red black trees so you are going to watch the video by professor reish i'm attack i'm going to attach a link in uh, the comments uh, in in the video description as well as on the slack so you can uh, like watch her video on the red black trees for the situation of the class uh, that's pretty much it and if you have any questions feel free to ask me thank you